Dum 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 dum. <laughs> dum 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 dum. Oh yes, people. What you're seeing is actually real. Definitely not fake. I don't know how a person could actually fake all this stuff here. Yeah, these trees really got knocked down. Never used to be like that. But what you're seeing here is a different type of log. A uh, special type of log, I guess, because, you know, I wanted to do today, do a special review, a special movie, uh, because every week, every week we're going to do like a, a movie of the week type of thing. And there's an idea that came from Wet Movie 1, a.k.a. Brenda Mitchell. And I figure, you know, the way that I wanted to do this anyway would be a way, you know, I was going to do this in my room and all that stuff. But once again, I'll, I'll explain that it's hard for me to, you know, my, you know, I have a lot of stuff going on at the house and whatnot. And it's hard for me to, to actually be able to do a lot of stuff in the, you know, vlog in the house because of the fact that, well, most of the reason is just because of the fact that it just, uh, you got too many people in there. And plus I had a mow a yard today, or mow a yard for a friend, and, uh, who will pay me later. So I had to kind of, I was kind of busy, you know, I kind of slept in a little bit and to like 1 o'clock in the afternoon, oh, 12.30 in the afternoon, about, roughly, anyway. Anyway, so, I figure, well, uh, I'll do what I can, and I figure, well, you know what, we're going to do this a little differently. We're not going to vlog, we're not going to do a review at the house today, we're not going to re do a review, you know, in the garage or whatever. I'm going to do it Stand By Me style. And if you guys don't know what Stand By Me is, or if you've ever seen that movie, just look at these train tracks, and you'll kind of get kind of a feel, kind of. As long as no train comes by, I think it will be okay. Yes, I'm vlogging on the train tracks, but I'm not only just vlogging on the train tracks today. I'm actually doing something that probably has never, ever been done before in the history of YouTube. I'm probably one of the first ones to do this. Maybe this will start a trend, but I'm going to actually do a movie review here on the train tracks. Can you believe that? Yeah, well... Greenbush, you know, where I live, there, there used to be a lot of different areas where a person could just have privacy and whatever, and, like, there used to be a lot of different trails that we used to have around here uh, that now are taken down because, uh, or were taken down because of uh, building new houses and stuff like that. Well, I I figure, well, what's more peaceful or relaxing than coming down the train tracks where nobody can see you and nobody can barely hear you at all either? So I figure, you get all the privacy you want. <laughs> as long as the train doesn't come. So what are we doing today? Well, like I said, I got my copy the other day, yesterday. Of the Out and About, the movie, Las Vegas. And uh, I'm going to be doing a, a proper review on that. An honest review on that. Because I feel honesty is probably the best way to do it. You know, Be honest about what you think about certain things. Uh... Uh, I already talked to Brendan about this last night through Skype. I think he and I chatted for almost an hour and a half. And uh, I told him that my review was going to be kind of different than any type of review that I've done before. Only because of the fact that, you know, there could have been... There, there were things in this movie that could have been a little bit better. And there's things in this movie that probably could have been avoided, more or less. But uh, before we start talking about this movie... Let's talk about this movie. And why are we going to talk about this movie? Well, this is the Around the Country movie that Sean Phillips and MJ Kelly made last summer. Very, very good film. You know, very, you know, very well put together. Uh, very, uh, I, I mean, I enjoyed it. It was worth, worth what I paid for it, you know. I'm not docking you know, the work of Sean or MJ because, you know, they're the reason why, they're pretty much the only reason why I ever came to YouTube, pretty much, uh, because of those guys. They they inspire me so much, you know, and then Wet Movie and a few other people inspire me 
to uh, just stick on here or whatever and, and do this, you know. Uh, so anyway, the, you know the, the reason why the reason why this was so successful or whatever is because it, it was uh, it was something that they did because they wanted to, to to everybody liked the around the town stuff that they done, and this around the country was kind of like almost like a kind of like a, a big thing because. You know, now, because Sean and his family live in San Diego, and uh, uh, MJ Kelly lives in, you know, in Towson, Maryland, uh, they don't, you, you don't never really see them in a video anymore. You know, it's because of the fact that, you know, they're too far away. Anyway, so they, they kind of did this as a way of saying thank you to all the people who, because back in 2008 and 2009, and pretty much the first half of 2010, these guys... It did some amazing videos. I mean, they did some videos in 2007, but the actual original Around the Town didn't actually start until January of 2008 because they started doing this as a weekly thing uh, just because they wanted to to see, you know, I mean, what they could do with, with YouTube and all that. And and even though Sean, you know, you know they, he has a lot of subscribers and all that stuff, uh, and he's been a partner for so long, and he's one of the original YouTubers, that kind of, you know, has been around for a long time, since 2006 at least. And YouTube's been around since about 2005. So, why am I talking about that movie instead of the Out and About movie, as we as we started off? Because a lot of people, I, I, I was reading the comments, you know, when, when Brendan uh, talked about the fact that the movie, the Out and About movie was coming out and has officially been available for purchase and everything, a lot of people were trying to compare... This, you know, his movie to Sean's movie. Now, there are some comparisons. I mean, because first of all, you know, it's in widescreen. Uh, second of all, it, it's kind of mostly focusing on, you know, like how around the country you focus on Sean and MJ and their journey from Maryland to California. Well, uh, the Out and About movie is kind of focusing on a uh, wet movie and Gabe on their journey to Las Vegas. And Sean Phillips kind of guest stars in it kind of as a special. I mean, I make a cameo. Artist Bruiser 1 makes a cameo. And other than that, Sean C. Phillips you know, is like a, like a guest star kind of in it. He's not in it all of the way, but to me, I think the main focus is on Gabe and, and Brenda kind of do their uh, triumphs and you know, struggles through Vegas and all that stuff. But to me... There, I mean, there are some comparisons, other than this one I mentioned. But uh, to me, if if you if you were to th say what's the biggest com comparison at all, is I believe that even though Brennan's movie is totally different than Sean's movie, but because Sean was in it, I believe that th this was almost like a, a second part, like a sequel to the Around the Country movie. Like because Sean was in it, and if you remember beforehand like Sean and MJ were talking about possibly going to Vegas you know because they'd never been there before and they would love to you know they would have loved to incorporate it into the movie but they never went they they got you know so sick of traveling and whatnot they just wanted to get to San Diego so they figured well they're not going to go to Vegas but then because of a wet movie winning well he, he said he didn't win the contest I know a lot of people have been saying that but in my heart I believe he truly did Win the contest because he put more effort into it than anybody else that I saw. Uh, he got screwed over, if you ask me, as far as the Renegade Fox. See, I can say that because, you know, Renegade Fox probably won't see this video anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I feel he got screwed over. I, I believe that he he really was the best man to win. He should have been awarded a lot more than ten thousand. You know. Uh, I'm not going to talk about his family's struggles because, I mean, who am I to talk? A guy who doesn't even have a job, you know, and who's just making money doing stuff through YouTube now. Anyway, so the thing about it, it's like, it's it's a great, it's a great way to look at it like a, a, a sequel to Sean and MJ's Around the Country movie, kind of, sort of. But uh, anyway, so, but the thing about it, you know, compared to Sean's video, Sean's movie, uh, there are some good, good and bad to it. Uh, his movie uh, is basically focused. It's just a movie. You know, it's it's just clips put together, 
and and to make a, a film to make a longer around the town video pretty much is what it is uh, there was no opening credits uh, no ending credits uh, just a main menu with some music playing in the background and that's about it uh, nice a nice cover you would get from that but I think that's why it was a lot cheaper you know I think he only what, what did he ask for I think what ten dollars or thirteen dollars or whatever it was well it does, you know and it's long I mean it's not like it's like a five minute video or whatever I mean even without the special features or anything it's still definitely a good buy in my book and now he put it on YouTube and all that so the whole world can see it now uh, but with the with the uh, out and about movie there are a lot more special features there's uh, well there's two it comes with two DVDs uh, first of all, and there's a commentary that I listened to last night. Last night I watched both the movie, and then I rewatched it with the commentary, because the, the the commentary is on disc number two, and the movie is on disc number one. But you can watch the movie on disc two with the commentary as well. Commentary is okay. I mean, I'm not gonna you know, just say it was the best stuff to listen to. I mean, I enjoyed hearing what Brendan had to say. I enjoyed hearing what artists had to say. But I believe, in my own personal belief anyway, I think artists could have uh, could have probably uh, had the focus not be so much on him, more or less, than actually be on the, 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 the movie. They, sh they should have wrote stuff down, you know, ideas down on what they wanted to talk about. Maybe some fast facts or fun facts or whatever that we, they could have told us throughout the movie. Uh, the commentary is basically almost just like a conversation, more or less. It's not really, it doesn't really focus so much on the movie as it should. Uh, but it's not bad, though. It's not like it's uh, horrible to listen to or whatever. But I told Brendan last night, I said, next time you do this, you know, if you want, I'll help you do some commentary. We can make it a lot more interesting. You know, I guarantee it. <laughs> if you ever decide to do, like, a, another version of this film or whatever, and you want to do another commentary, like, to your Amazon version or whatever, I would love... I would since I got my copy and everything, I would love to maybe do like a uh, have it be like an alternate uh, commentary because I could drive the attention to be focused more on the movie than actually myself because you know if you, once you listen to the commentary you'll know that uh, well I, I think that uh, even though he's probably goofing around but I think uh, wet or uh, artist version one really thinks too much of himself but anyway. And then it comes with the bonus around the, t the, the, the town or uh, out and about uh, episode. That's pretty good. It's kind of funny. Uh, I think they just made that within the last couple weeks uh, before putting it finally putting it on disc. Uh, but the premise of the film is pretty much uh, Wet Movie and Gabe and Sean C. Phillips. They go to, they go to uh, Vegas for the very first time. And you're gonna see a lot of things that are. It's mostly a lot of real life situations. Nothing, you know. They had some ideas that they were gonna plan that they were gonna do for the film that you'd hear the that you'll hear in the commentary, but there were a lot of that stuff didn't happen. Uh, everything that pretty much happened was uh, as realistic as realistic can get. Nothing was scripted. Nothing was you know. It was all pretty much real life. You know, it's almost like a reality TV movie kind of more or less is what it is. But uh, the thing about it w with this movie is that there's there's a lot of good and there's a lot of bad. Uh, and what I mean by that is like the good part about it is you get a nice case. The bad part about it is that the the the, the, the discs are not what you would expect. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to show you what they look like, but I will just say that they're not like what you would expect uh, somebody who's trying to sell uh, sell stuff. If you're just doing it for free or whatever, if you're just giving these movies away for free to just to give back to your fans or whatever, uh, then, yeah, I could see this not putting as much effort into it. But then, but if you're if you're trying to sell something, if you're trying to make money off of it, you, you figure you would have tried to put a little bit more effort into the entire project other than just, you know, putting this stuff together so quickly and then try to sell it and get rid of it or whatever. But, you know, we talk, like I said, Brent and I, we talked about it last night. I gave him some pointers and all that stuff, and he knew what I was talking about. And, you know, he, he can't afford everything either, which is totally understandable. But uh, the movie itself is, is pretty good, but I think 
it could use less profanity. I mean, hey, swearing is great. Swearing is fun. People swear all the time. You know, I do it once in a while. Just sometimes just to be goofy. Not to really ever offend anybody or be serious about anything. But sometimes what, what you, you, you know, sometimes once you've heard swearing, sometimes it doesn't get, sometimes it's not funny anymore, you know. And I kind of got thrown off a little bit by that because there's a lot of dirty talk and all that stuff. that just, it just got kind of old after a while. Uh, you'll see a situation that happened that I'm not going to mention about, but uh, kind of a serious situation that happened between uh, uh, Gabe, Sean, and uh, Brendan. But you'll just have to see the movie to, to figure it out. And then there's a scene in there also, but I'm not going to spoil it, that uh, could have probably been avoided in my book, you know, because they could have focused. They, because this is the first time you go to Vegas, and and you could show people a, a different side of you, like saying that you're not just this potty mouth person or whatever who just does, you know, says whatever, whatever you want to say. Like you actually, you know, want to actually give a full tour or or something, you know, to to make this more of a, of a family movie too, let alone just, uh, you know, not for kids. But it is not for kids. Uh, so if you have kids that are watching this movie, well, it's just not supposed to be for them. But who knows? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm sorry if I'm rushing through this, this re re review, but I'm just looking back and forth to see if a train's going to come or not because you just never know. They're never, uh, you know, they're never timed. You never know when a train's going to come. But anyway, so overall, I think the movie was was great. Yeah, you know, and I'm not just saying that because I'm friends with Brendan or whatever. I mean, if if, if it was a piece of crap, I'd tell him it was a piece of crap. But eighteen dollars is what he's asking. I think it's fifteen dollars plus three dollars shipping handling if you're in the U.S. and then outside, it's uh, uh what is it? It'd be it'd be a little bit more or a little bit less or whatever outside U.S. But uh, anyway, so it, it's 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 a good movie, but it's just it's just some things that could have been avoided, you know. Uh, it, if if would have been done differently, it could have been probably even better. And maybe you know, the time is about a hour and forty two minutes, or like thirty thirty some seconds. He did a good job. Brendan did a good job putting this all together. Uh, you know, his editing skills are just unbelievable. Uh, I mean, I I try to have good editing skills once in a while too, when I really want to put effort into a video. Sometimes I don't always do that, but you'll find here and there but once in a while, you know, I'll be doing that, put some some type of effort anyway into it. But overall, I think you guys should uh, give it a, a, a watch at least, not just because I'm telling you to, but you know because this guy, Brendan Mitchell, aka Wet Movie One, he puts a lot of effort into. You know, maybe not so much the production as far as, you know, presenting it, but as far as when you view it, it, it it's kind of, it's kind of a, a, a good, good feeling type of film a little bit. And it's probably not really even a, a film or whatever, but it's just, to me, I mean, it's an hour and well over the normal limit of what you would normally expect. And, you know, it's just downright good, so... That's all I can say, I guess. I'm not going to spoil anything. He's told me, Brennan said, one of the things is do not spoil you know, any of the big stuff that happens. And uh, and I think I'm the first person to actually review this movie other than Artist Version 1, but I think he had to take us down because he was so worried about getting death threats, but I don't think nobody would find, try to find him or whatever. He lives in St. Louis. I'm too far away from St. Louis. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, it's what it's uh, out and about the movie Las Vegas, and that's my review. Also, if you guys you know still want, you can always pick up a copy of the Around the Country movie with uh, Sean Phillips and MJ Kelly from last year. So both are great buys. You know, I was happy that I got a chance to to do a cameo in the in, uh, Brennan's movie, and hopefully, if he ever does this again, that I tell him that I would definitely like to do more than just do a 20 second cameo. <laughs> So anyway, we'll talk to you guys a little later. We'll see you tomorrow for day six. And I'm Frankie Slauson. Go pick up a copy of uh, Out and About the Movie. You won't be disappointed. Trust me. Bye-bye.